else do you see? We've seen data, uh, we've got the emotional behavior. Uh, what else? Alex? Yeah, I said about another small, so-called small. I think this is one of the uh, favorite topic that uh, uh, we, we discussed before. This is a little bit related to influencer, but it's not only about influencer because the industry is focused on offering uh, you know, different types of connection with influencers. But one thing that I noticed is that uh, the world of the 2021, it's gonna be more micro. Uh, so when I mean micro, we, we have these celebrity mega influencers. They are best for top of the funnel campaigns, promoting products or brands with mass appeal while micro or nano influencers are best for more targeted campaigns. Those um, aim to reach a specific audience. So this group of uh, micro or nano influencers tend to have stronger, more direct relationship with their followers, which often leads to greater authenticity, engagement, and the results. So that's why I see, we can see more of the activation of this micro group of influencer. But similarly, we also see a lot of smaller social networks or small groups on big networks. They will have uh, the same advantage because of the pandemic again, it forced many parts of the human activity to move online. So the sudden influx of people that weren't present online before is a great opportunity to reach out to new audiences and to try a new marketing strategy towards influencer marketing. So um, a lot of companies, especially in China, are leveraging their social channels to interact with consumers. Even CRM is being through those smaller groups. Brands are leveraging their social platform as an avenue to provide one-on-one -on -one services at scale. I believe we can see more. For many companies based in the Western hemisphere, this trend is just beginning to take form. And I expect more varia variation of this micro formats in 2021. Wow, that is uh, an incredible uh, insight because we have mentioned uh, influencer marketing in the past. And I remember in our last chat, we briefly also said the micro influencers, uh, which people still don't seem to understand. It's not always about the amount of followers that you have, it's about the interaction, it's about your impact. You don't need to have 5 million followers. You don't need to be a celebrity. The smaller people are great. We can also have an impact and we need to embrace that. This is, I think, what it comes down to, Joe, accepting and understanding the different levels of this influencing world that we're coming into. And 2021, I'm excited to see uh, what's happening. So any last words that you would like to say, Joe? Yeah, I think that I, I said that I have another two. I will be very brief because uh, they are not big or small. However, they are how people are going to cope with those big or small trends in 2021. I think one is uh, platform. I call it platform because I want to highlight this might be a way for companies to manage their operating marketing operation. Uh, Amazon is a platform or those uh, big internet companies are platforms in China. So there are platforms established by third party, but in 2021, this is also you know, in line with one of the reports developed by um, chiefmartech.com and WPP. They said that platform, this business model can also be marketing operating models where marketing functions leverages this digital structure to manage those different components. So how, how we are going to do that? Uh, I think the form can be a, a list of, or a collection of tools, assets, enablement that enable people throughout the organization can be a brand or a agency to self-serve many of their needs. And I think this is also the result of agile marketing. The foundation for agile marketing often requires a single universe, 
unified organizational view of customers. This requires a data system that integrates those data. So we call it single customer data platform. And again, this is a platform. So I think a lot of companies will still participate in many platform established by third party. However, some of them will start to create their platform operating model internally. And I see opportunities there. And the last one, because we mentioned a lot about data, I think it's quite straightforward. Privacy and security. This is gonna be even more important in 2021. I think greater governance for data regulation and the compliance will be required. Meanwhile, I actually uh, see some technologies uh, under development to cope with those challenges. It's called privacy enhancing computation, computation, which includes sensitive data being processed or analyzed in a trusted environment data processing and the analytics being performed in a decentralized manner, and the data and algorithm being encrypted before processing or analytics. So this approach is designed specifically for the increasing need to share data while maintaining privacy or security. So those are two things uh, might be not very easy to you know, understand the full picture uh, given the limited time, but I believe those are approaches for digital marketers to gradually take on, to cope with those big or small trends that we discussed earlier on. Uh, thank you so much, Joe. What a great way to start the year than by these impactful and powerful thoughts that you always have. I mean, I appreciate you taking to jump on this chat as always. And I look forward to more inspiring chats during 2021 because what you've given us today, uh, it is a brief thought of what these trends are. And I think we'll definitely do a few follow-ups over the next few weeks because I would like to dig deeper into some of the points that uh, you made today. So bottom line, everyone, stay tuned to these trends and let's see how they evolve throughout the year. Let's see if Joe's predictions become even bigger. So this is Elise Cavetto. Until next time. Thank you, Joe. Thank you.